Abalonian gaskets. We did our project on Abalonian gaskets. Apollonists have program invented Abalonian gaskets. They're also known as Apollonettes. An Apollonet or Apollonian gasket is very easy to draw. You start with three circles, C1, C2, and C3. Each one of these circles must be tangent to each of the other circles, but can be any size. Apollonists use the Scardi theorem in order to discover this interlocking circles. Apollonists use only C1, C2, and C3. But he discovered that there are, there are really two more circles, which we will call C4 and C5. But there's more to these interlocking circles. Not only must be, they be sets of three, but also they must be in triplets. So now that we understand how Laponian gases work, let's figure out how to draw one. Let's take one of the two Apollonian circles, C4. This must be changed to circle C1 and C2. Now that we have three circles, we now have a triplet. Using the same principle, we take the circles and continue. By using these three circles to make an Apollonian gasket, we continue this pattern to make three new circles, giving us six new circles to make three new circles inside each of the three circles. We now have a total of 11 circles, including the C1 to C5. If you're not a math person, this might seem really confusing. But there is a simple formula to all this madness. 3n plus 1 plus 2. This formula is constructed stage by stage. We add 2 minus 3n to the new circles of the stage of n. These stages can be continued on for infinity, giving us an Apollonian gasket. Now, one might ask yourself, how do you define a circle? Any three points can define a circle. You simply draw three random points on a piece of paper and try to find the circle to which the three points belong. Abalonian gases have many circles, or we'll call them bends. These bends are defined as the inverse of the radius of circles. But we need some rules for these bends. They must include negative curvature circles that all the other circles in your Abalonian gases must be tangent to that one circle. This is the bonding circle. If using a zero curvature, use straight lines, such as the circle with infinite radii. Right now that we have a set of rules, let's discuss variations that can occur with the Abalonian gaskets. If you're like me and don't want to do a whole lot of complex mathematic equations that sound like gibberish, you can replace the infinite circles with straight lines. These straight lines will pass through the point of infinity in the middle of the circle. If you want to be super cool, you can replace two circles with parallel straight lines. No matter where you draw these lines, as long as they're tangent to each other, the parallel straight lines will be tangent to one of the two straight lines. These straight lines are part of the family of forward circles, another intense set of circles, but we won't go there. Now that we have covered the math for someone that doesn't want to do a whole lot of math, we will go over math for the people that want to do the intense math. Let's talk about Abalonian sphere packing, which are equivalent to the three-dimensional Abalonian gaskets. Since our group didn't understand this concept at all, we consulted a math journal. If the two original generating circles have the same radius, and the third circle has a radius that is two-thirds of this, then the Abalonian gasket has two lines of reflective symmetry. One line is the line joining the centers of the equal circle, so there is some mutual tangent, which passes through the center of the third circle. These lines are perpendicular to one another, so the Abalonian gasket also has rotational symmetry of degree 2. The symmetry group of this gasket is D2. Now that we covered in the intense math, let's talk about a fun doodle game that you can do with the Abalonian gaskets. If you're bored of math class like most of you will be, unless you're in Mr. Eden's math class, this makes an awesome doodle game. You start out with drawing a shape on the piece of paper in front of you and start by filling the shape with the biggest circle possible. And fill that space with the next biggest circle and continue this until all the space on your paper is filled with circles. Now you can leave all the things circles or you may want to be super cool and you can fill the circles with shapes, such as Mickey Mouse or other fun shapes that you feel like drawing.